Hey guys, welcome to the one on one in 10, where you get to see your favorite artists from around the world one on one in 10 minutes. I'm your host, Ayasha Robinson, and I'm back on the scene with a new artist. So this lovely, beautiful, talented artist, she has her own musical flow. I love her style. I love the way that she just rocks her own musical, just her influences when it comes to her songwriting and her musicality is so superb. And we just had to have her on the show because she's just a, a powerful woman for 2023 and beyond. So it's all about the ladies. So help me welcome to the stage the beautiful, my multi talented, Nicole. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you for being on the show, Nicole. So can you tell us a little bit about your musical influences and how did you get started as an artist? Yes. So my musical influences, well, first of all, I've been playing piano and writing songs since I was four. Wow. So it, I think I have, I think my parents did it for like a therapy thing. I'm not, they don't even know, <laughs> but cause they're, they're, you know, musical. Um, but someone put me in front of the piano and I have like tape cassettes of me from age four. Like, I don't know. I, there's a, a full song, there's verses and choruses. Something got channeled through me since age four. So, um, but I didn't pursue it. And, you know, as a career, it was just um, like my, I don't know, my magical portal. Um, and I grew up in a, a musical family. So, and I also grew up in America. So I have, you know, Middle Eastern influence. I have um, Tori Amos is a huge influence because she's a piano player and singer. Um, Alanis Morissette, um, Shakira, Madonna, Incubus, Linkin Park, Limp Bizkit, um, you know, something, even something corporate, you know, these were all my, and anything that has Nirvana, anything that any band that had really deep, meaningful lyrics, Alanis Morissette and Tori Amos are, I think, really known for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, you give me a little bit of sprinkle of Alicia Keys too. I know you didn't mention her, but Alicia I could, Keys, I could definitely you know that. She, yeah, she, well, it's funny because um, she, she was an artist that I started listening to like later on. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, that's who I'm, um, I'm singing her songs like with my voice teacher. So I guess he saw that too. <laughs> you know, so. I didn't see that. I just channeled that with the energy. I didn't get a chance to see that, but oh. I just felt that was something, but go ahead. You have a, a lot of great influences. And the crazy thing is that your parents actually allowed you to emotionalize your feelings through music. And then that helped you to evolve to become the musician that you are today. That's awesome. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had like piano lessons as a kid. I didn't, I voice lessons, not really. Um, I only started that recently, but I, yeah, I didn't, I, I really just didn't pursue this as a career option on, technically until late 2021 that's when I went to the studio for the first time recorded a song for the first time um so it's it's still fairly new for me well you can't tell so, <laughs> so it's, a, it's, a, it's new for you but it's a natural type of you know this is a natural gift that you have and most people don't have a natural gift so if you just fell into it in 2021 girl bye by the end of the year, you're going to be like a pro <laughs> when it comes to this musical gift that you have as well. So it's great to see how the evolution of you have, how evolution of how your music has become this, this pretty gifted, soulful, creative rock uh, alternative flow that you have with your music and your songwriting goes so well so was it has it been challenging for you as an artist to go from a pianist to now a singer songwriter or has it been a more of a, a smooth transition for you um it's actually been enhancing in many ways because you know 
a piano, just piano and just voice can be very beautiful. Um, it gets enhanced in the production. And um, my producer and I see eye to eye on this um, in getting, we got real instruments. Like, it's funny to say we got real instruments, but you know, it's not digital, it's real. Mm -hmm. We have real musicians, you know, real drums, real, real bass, real guitar, um, real piano, of course. So um, it's, I would say the enhancing part of it was an adjustment in a good way because it just felt like my songs have become magical. You know, it's it's like, wow, so much magic has gone into this, into each song. And, um, and they're also not all the same. I mean, I, I guess I don't really know what genre to call it in because to call some of the songs in um, because two of the songs are like fit for film and TV. They're very cinematic. They haven't been released yet. Um, but you know, I, I really wanted to start my debut single with courtroom head trip specifically. That's um, awesome. That's the rock song. <laughs> love it. You know what? And I love the fact that you also can also go into that other genre of TV and film, but also in music as well. And a lot of times artists have a hard time going in between those uh different genres because a lot of times what my experience is usually when I see people with TV and film you see more of of course more now than maybe 20 years ago but to really be able to create music for the TV and film industry but also create music for you know our listening and and, and for that type of satisfaction it's two different two, two different ways of creating different types of music people don't realize that as well and it's it's, a, it's it's that's definitely a gift in itself so you're just this powerhouse thank you for telling me I don't yeah like I I guess I don't know because it's just I've been doing it since I was can remember you know it's just like a you you definitely need this powerhouse so that's that's going to be your name for 2023 Nikal powerhouse because you have, you have this this authenticity and this power with inside yourself that's so innate and it comes out just so fluid it's just like okay I just do this and just do that and it just sounds so good it's not like you're just doing it, it just it sounds very effortless and that's a gift as well so can we talk a little bit about your new album paint a piano purple yes and it's Again, funny to call it an album because I'm releasing singles. So again, still getting used to like those, the technicalities. But yes, technically, when the album gets released as an album and not a single, um, Paint a Piano Purple, it, it's it been um, like a phrase that I came up, that I had inside um, for years, like years and years. Um, basically, what it means is to to paint your tool of expression in a royal color. So my tool of expression is the piano. And thank God, I, I really, I think about this quite often. Um, I'm so grateful that I had that tool of expression to paint it in a royal color because, you know, the world isn't always royal around us. So the only thing that I... I guess had control over was how I'm going to paint my own reality, my own inner world. Okay. So, mm. yeah. yeah, that is so. You just dropped some jewels. So, in regards to you painting your own world, and you chose the color purple because it's a royal color, and that color symbolized royalty, but it also symbolized so much more. Like that color purple is just it's like that. It's a sensitive color and it's a spiritual color as well, but it's a color that speaks to you and speaks to your story and speaks to your life that makes it so relatable. And I just love the fact that the, these singles are dropping this year and that we were able, we will be able to actually experience your music, each single drop in, and it will tell us a little bit more about you as an artist and and about your story as well. So 
I, I definitely love the whole purple concept and, I, I, and it's great that you chose that color of all the colors to, to choose as well. Now, can you tell the audience a little bit about your success stories being an artist and some of your challenges as well? Um, success stories? What do you mean specifically? <laughs> like anything, something successful about being a musical artist with your new album coming out, um, just do, just getting yourself more out on social media because you got a, this young lady, she's being very humble. She has a nice following on Instagram. So, <laughs> so to her, her Instagram, she has a lot of good followers and she's just doing so many great successful things. And, you know, I want you to be able to just like empower those newer artists that's coming out and um, tell them a little bit about your success stories and also your challenges as well. Yeah. Okay. So I'll start with the challenges. It's usually easier for me. <laughs> um, I would say the biggest challenge is, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone. And because again, this, I, I, I make a joke um, that it's like, I was in the musician's closet for my whole life. And I'm just like, I'm stepping out of it now. I'm coming out of my shell and um and it's it can be really really hard mm -hmm. and um you know it's like oh my god that's too much I'm expo too exposed and you know um so so actually I I found it very beneficial I work with like a spiritual coach this this girl that I went to college with mm -hmm. um and that really helps keep me grounded. Um, my team keeps me grounded. I mean, I have someone helping me manage my social media. And, you know, so it's kind of just like the importance of a team was how I figured out those challenges. Um, and then I would say the successes is, is like mostly just I feel finally I'm able to express my authentic self like to, to more people um coming from like an academic background where I really I mean I tried so hard to reel in my personality as you know and keep it <laughs> professional and it's hard it's just really hard I need to just be like here I am and my mm -hmm. all and not everyone can receive it and mm -hmm. I think that was part of the challenge I'm like not everyone's gonna receive it and I have to be okay with that you know right um so it was a lot of ego death you know mm -hmm. <laughs> um and um and I yeah and I, I would say that the biggest success that I feel is that I I really feel liberated I feel I just feel liberated I feel like I feel like I freed my heart it was like begging me to free it for for so long and it's free I love it, I love, it. I love the fact that you said your success story is finding your true authentic self. And that's really what success is about, really finding yourself and everything else. Uh, it's like a domino effect. Everything else will just eventually come. But a lot of times people want to have inner stuff versus outer stuff, you know, and it's really about achieving the inner stuff first and then the outer stuff will eventually come. And when it does come, you will have a sense of who you are as a person. So that is the ice in my cake, guys. So guys, I hope you were able to take some notes on the jewels that Nicole just dropped for you guys for 2023. <laughs> and Nicole, can you tell the fans where can they find you? How can they book you for upcoming shows and events? Well, I am on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. I'm I'm just more of an you know of an Instagram person. I'm on Instagram as Paint to Piano Purple, my album name. And um, I'm also, you'll see me, you'll see my music videos on YouTube. Um, it's going to be under the handle McCall TV. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> that's like a fun thing I like to, to do, McCall TV. Yeah. Um, and you can also, um, you can email me at paintedpianopurple at gmail.com. Um, I'm, I'm usually on Instagram live. That's kind of where I'm performing right now. It's called Secret Concerts. So, I mean, you can also message me on Instagram. Um, but 
what I'm doing, at least for, for this year, at least the first half of this year, is I'm going to be giving secret concerts, you know, from the comfort of my own home type of thing. And, um, and then when I feel ready to, to start, you know, touring, um, I'll call it in at that point, you know, <laughs> that's kind yeah. of how I, how I'm working with that. <laughs> I love it. So guys, there you have it. You have all the information from the call that she just gave you. And of course, we'll have our website at the bottom of this show. So you can make sure you go to our website and follow her and all her social media and make sure you also listen to our music as well. And thank you so much for McCall for being on the show. And thank you guys for watching the 101 in 10, where you get to see your favorite artists from around the world, 101 in 10 minutes. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.